Let's talk about spruce trees. Basically, everybody really likes spruce trees in Minecraft. And, well, who can blame them? They're really great. Unfortunately, the vanilla game only gives us two different kinds of spruce trees to work with, but if we get a little bit of custom tree action going on, we can make spruce trees in whatever size we want. I'm going to be showing you guys seven different levels of spruce trees, starting with the easiest and simplest and ending up with some massive spruce trees. Spruce tree level one. All right, guys, I know this is not exactly content, but I mean, come on, look at this stupid little thing. <laughs> it is technically a custom spruce tree, and you could put this in an interior or as maybe like a really tiny little sapling or something in a forest build. I don't know. <laughs> I promise you guys the trees are going to get better from this point onwards. Let's move on. Spruce tree level two. It's, uh, it's still not much, but I mean, this does definitely qualify as a custom tree, whereas the previous one, uh... <sighs> Not so much. It's not got much going for it, but you can see the basics of a spruce tree starting to form here. I mean, we're using the spruce fences here as a kind of like really thin version of a trunk, of course. And as you've probably noticed, we've got a little bit of leaf variety as well. This is going to be something that is consistent across all of the different spruce trees I'm going to be showing you in the video. I really like using more than one different leaf type in my custom trees. And well, these spruce trees are no exception. Even in the really tiny ones here, I'm going to be mixing it up with some spruce and some birch in different quantities. We're not completely like smothering this fence with leaves or anything, but we're not making it super bare either. You know, we're having a nice little balance of leaves here around the tree. <laughs> tree? <laughs> what a voice crack. Anyways, next tree. Spruce tree level three. We got a bit of a size upgrade here. It's definitely quite a bit taller and quite a bit wider. We're also starting to incorporate some more solid blocks. Mainly, I'm talking about the green terracotta that you can see inside these leaves right here. This is something that I definitely recommend you guys do with your custom trees when they get large enough, of course, which is to put some solid blocks in your tree. They kind of just act as like filler space because in real life, you have an increased density of leaves in the middle and a decreased density around at the edges. And this is kind of just simulating that effect. Besides that, we got the same general mixture of the leaves here. We also got a couple fences kind of poking off in different directions here, kind of acting as some really basic branches. When you're making custom trees in Minecraft, I would actually avoid covering up every single wood face with a leaf. Not only is it going to be really hard to see the wood that you're using in the tree, but it actually just doesn't really look great. It's like you're just encasing a trunk in like layers and layers of dense leaves. It doesn't really look good. You want your trees to like branch out and billow out in different directions and be light and airy. Spruce tree level four. Once again, we got a pretty huge size upgrade for the level four tree right in front of me right here. And for the first time, we're actually using proper spruce wood. Wow, crazy, I know. Throughout the rest of these trees, I'm actually gonna be using strip spruce instead of normal spruce, and that is mainly because it goes better with the fences, but also because, as you'll see in my later trees, I'm gonna be incorporating other blocks like walls and slabs and stairs and even other different textures, which I think are gonna go a lot better with the slightly lighter color of the strip spruce. We don't really have any substantial branches down at the bottom here, but we do have a lot of that green terracotta to act as filler. Going up through the trunk here, you can see we got a couple extra pieces of fence poking out through just every once in a while to act as tiny little branches. And like in the previous trees, once we get up to the top, I'm actually replacing some of the fences in the central trunk column right here with some more spruce leaves. I wouldn't overuse this little effect too much, but it is pretty cool in small quantities at the top of your trees. All right, well, that was a bit of a mouthful, but we we got four out of the seven trees accomplished for this video. Spruce tree level five. At first glance, you might be thinking that the level five spruce tree is not that different from the level four spruce tree. After all, it's only a tiny bit bigger and the general shape, well, it's uh, it's pretty much the same. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice that this level five spruce tree is implementing a few interesting little details that have not been previously used in any of these smaller trees right here. Our block palette has increased by a substantial amount. Starting from the top, we've got a little brown candle all the way up here looking very cute. Making our way down, you can see we have fence gates, we have some granite walls, and all the way down here, you can even see a couple blocks of granite in the trunk here. Once you get to these larger trees, it becomes really important to be able to have different trunk thicknesses. So much like up at the top here where I'm replacing these fences with leaves every now and again, you can see down here, I'm replacing bits of our trunk with walls every now and again just to start gently 
tapering off the thickness of this trunk to take it from the width of a full block all the way down to that of a fence, just like that one. And of course, as we start incorporating walls into our build, we're going to want to use fence gates as well because, of course, the regular fences don't connect with the walls. However, if you use a fence gate, you can see how it connects to the wall and your problem is pretty much all solved. Like in the previous trees, we're using the green terracotta, we're using the birch and the spruce leaves, we're using the strip spruce log down at the bottom, but of course we have a much more increased block variety and it's really going to make some big improvements to our trees going forward. Spruce tree level 6. Alrighty guys, this is where we're starting to get a little bit crazy with our ideas here. You can see this tree, the first thing that's going to be jumping out to you is that it's not perfectly straight up and down. That's right, we have finally reached a level of custom tree where we're building on a big enough scale that we can do funky things like have our tree bend at a bit of an angle here. The other new thing we're introducing here is adding in a lot of fences inside the main bottom like bushy sections of our tree down here. You can really see how I'm going nuts with them where I didn't really use them to like kind of pad out the thicker sections of the level 5 tree. The reason I'm adding in these fences here is well I mean our tree's getting really wide like if you look at this thing from a bird's eye view it is quite massive down at the bottom. Just having little bits of green terracotta every now and again alongside the leaves is no longer going to cut it and we want to have a little bit more interesting shape. Now it's a little bit hard to see but if you kind of take a quick little dive into the middle of the this tree here. Oh, hello. Wow, we're getting very up and personal here, aren't we? You can see that I'm starting to do tiny little branches with the full blocks. There's one right there poking out to the side. You got a little bit of wall action right here. This is not only looking like a branch, but it also helps our tree bend its way to the left. You can see how I'm attaching walls to the sides of where our main trunk is and then continuing up the trunk from that wall. And that's how you get your tree to have a little bit of a bend. Down at the bottom here, our trunk is no longer just a one by one, it's actually a one by two. We're using the walls here, the granite walls of course, to kind of extend the trunk a little bit over to the left. And of course, like I've been saying for every single tree in this video thus far, we're keeping all the previous details from the trees that have come before it, like <gasps> the different kinds of leaves, the green terracotta, we're gonna have the strip spruce log, we're gonna have a funny little brown candle at the top. We're having a little bit of that pattern where the leaves thin out a little bit. As we get to the top, we've got walls, we've got fences, we've got fence gates probably somewhere in this build. I can't find any right now. <gasps> Oh boy, it's a lot of stuff going into these trees at this point in our video, but we have one more. Oh yes, the level 7 tree, which is going to be the biggest, the grandest, and the most complicated of them all. Like I always say, let's get into it. Spruce tree, level 7. Gonna do a quick little replay mod flyby of this thing, cause man, this thing is massive, and I don't think my funny little first person view could totally do it justice here, but just... I am in awe of the size of this man, like look at him, <laughs> he's so large. <laughs> Anyways guys, talking about our build process here because that's probably why you clicked on this video after all. We are once again implementing some new ideas into this tree. We've got a little bit of a bend which is very, very, very subtle here, but you can only really see it at certain angles, but you get a tiny little bit of a bend here from about here. The bend is not really as pronounced in this tree as it is in our previous tree, but that's okay, we've already shown off how to make a tree bendy. In this tree, we're adding even more block variety. I see a couple mud brick walls in there. That's right, we are introducing a third texture, right? We started out with our spruce, and then we sprinkled in some granite at some point, and then finally we are adding in some packed mud. Of course, it's pretty subtle. You don't really see too, too much of it, especially with everything covered by the leaves here. It's there, and it does definitely do some wonders to add in a little bit of block variety up until this point we've only had granite walls and you know granite doesn't exactly match up with the spruce texture and color so bringing in something like mud which of course has a kind of tile brick texture which is not great but the fact that the color is really similar to spruce makes me want to use it in my tree the other really important new change in this tree is actually the leaves believe it or not yeah that thing that we've been keeping basically the same from tree number two all the way up to tree number six is finally getting some little bits of additional 
addition and revision. If we take a very close look at this tree, you'll notice the left side, this stuff right here, has slightly more birch on it, or rather, all the birch leaves are more concentrated on this side versus the right side of the tree right here. While a random sampling of different leaf textures is great for adding some color variety and detail into your build, we can take things one step further for our largest tree build and really put some thought into where our different textures are going. In this case, I'm taking advantage of the fact that the birch leaves are slightly lighter than the spruce leaves and making it look like the sun is shining from an angle and hitting the birch tree. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. We got the sun in the right place. Sick. <laughs> so yeah, like if you can imagine the sun shining from this direction and hitting the tree, the leaves that are on this side would be in direct sunlight, making them slightly lighter versus the leaves on this side, which are going to be a little bit darker because they're not in direct sunlight. Overall, there's definitely a noticeable color difference. And of course, we put some real thought into it as well. And looking back at our previous trees, you can really see the evolution, how we got from a tiny little sapling back there all the way to these grand and mega spruce trees and they really do look fantastic in my opinion. If you guys like the format that I used for this video, please do let me know down in the comments because I would like to make more videos in this style if you guys are enjoying it. And until next time, this has been Leon and I will see you all in the next, uh, whatever you want to call this, different iterations of a build build video. Something like that. See ya. <laughs>